she had a very strong set of principles, a very clear political compass, a very clear moral compass. There was no doubt about what she thought was right and what she thought was wrong. And she once said, disciplining yourself to do what you know is right and important, although difficult, is the high road to pride, self-esteem, and personal satisfac satisfaction. Um, we very soon knew what she was made of, because she'd only been in office a few months when a group of six terrorists uh, seized the Iranian embassy. And it was quickly surrounded, and our crack uh, SAS regiment was uh, in position to go in, uh, to rappel down the front and the back and swing through the windows. Um, but it was a standoff until a Sunday afternoon when the um, terrorist shot and killed a hostage inside the embassy and threw the body out on the street. And Margaret was at her cunt, the Prime Minister's country retreat, checkers, um, out in Buckinghamshire. And um, she got the phone call, and uh, she just said the two words. She said, go in. And the SAS went in and took out all the terrorists, and uh, not, not another hostage uh, was harmed. And that sent a very clear message that um, people were dealing with a very different um, uh, person. Uh, secondly, she... Um, she was a great communicator. She was able to cut through a lot of guff and nonsense. Although she was a very clever person, you know, chemist and attorney, um, she, um, she spoke very simply and very directly, and she synthesized things very clearly. Um, she was a bit like Newt Gingrich. She didn't say, at this moment in time. She said, now. Um, short Anglo-Saxon words. Uh, when my friend... Um, Simon Jenkin interviewed her early in her premiership. Uh, he, he asked her about her, her laissez-faire uh, approach to economic policy. And she looked at him and she said, uh, laissez-faire, laissez-faire, don't you go French on me. 